Kim, Kim Thompson, and um, I've asked Matthew to come up here beside me because I'm a little bit nervous about um, about speaking to you. And I do feel like I want to speak to uh, this side of the room. Um, um, I'm not from Mushaboom. I'm not from Sheet Harbor. I'm from Ship Harbor. And um, I love the Eastern Shore. It's, it's my home. And I'm deeply, deeply committed to, um, to my neighbors, to, to everyone in this room, to making sure that we've got the very best that we can do for each other. And more than that, I think that what I want to speak to is something bigger, because I, I think somehow we have to call to a greater good, a greater best in all of us, because we don't have a lot of time. And I don't want to get down at it all, but it's the environment and every window that we can create to connect people, to connect each of us to the environment and to the things that we need to take on in the most imaginative and creative ways possible is our responsibility. And I can't think of how we can do a better job of that than whenever there's an opportunity to to speak with our neighbors, to connect with the land. What I do down in Ship Harbor is all about that. It's about trying to connect each of us with nature and to connect each of us with our communities. And I'm not sure what this is where this is gonna go, but it's an opportunity and the hardest things that we do in our lives are Figuring out how we can speak with each other, how I can look each of you in the eye, and how can we, how can we make this work? And when Matthew came up here um, and spoke earlier about youth and and the planet that we care about so much, the whales are just one piece of that. They're just an opportunity to connect with the land and to make sure that we're healing the planet in the best way that we can. And I was not excited about getting up and speaking here just now. And I asked Matt, I went over and I said to him, would you come up and stand with me? And he so kindly did. And he said to me, I said, what did I say? What? No, I didn't even ask him. He just offered. He said, think about the thing that you are most proud of. And that that was going to make this pass, this kind of fear that I had about standing up and speaking in front of all of you. And thinking about that thing that's, that we can be most proud of, that is what we have to do. That's what we have to look towards. And, and I think that what the Beluga Sanctuary is is just one piece of that. It's going to be. But please, please work together. And it is because of this is going to be. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's that? This is not in response at all to this last statement, and I thank you for that, Kim. What I hope all of you who are fishermen understand is that there is probably no other group of any other occupation that has more respect for the environment in which they work and for caring for and protecting that environment than fishermen. I know that from my experience, it's not just words, I know that from my experience of working around the world I did all those films with the Cousteau group. You watched them on television, the Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau, and all the rest of that stuff that I got to do. And in many cases, where we went, we depended on fishermen because they know the waters. So I hope that none of you take away from anything that's being said anything other than that respect that certainly we have and I think everyone in this room, and a number of them have said it, 
have for what you do and the care you give to your environment and the environment that we in turn get to share. This is not about that. This is about relatively small project. A very special project that obviously we care deeply about or we wouldn't be talking about it these many times. But it's about can we do a project like this in cooperation with and sim sympathetically with the work that you do and the work that everybody else does and those who use the waters. And in some ways, it is that simple. And some of you have provided that clear an answer and others more complicated answers. And I just want to again state how much we appreciate all of the comments, not just those that are in support of it, and not just those that are very precise. Some are difficult to understand, and we need to work hard to understand them. Thank you.